this is something that I want to um, just do very quickly and uh, get out of the way. This is a prophetic warning that I'm uh, about to bring to us. Very, very important uh, prophetic warning. So I'm going to just take my time and lay it out for us. And uh, please take your time, uh, you know, share it with someone. This is a warning for our time, uh, for the people of God everywhere, especially the ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I, two, three days ago, I will start with that segment and then go forward. Three days ago, the Lord came to me in the spirit and showed me something very powerful. And when I came out of this experience, I said to myself, okay, I'm going to take the time and write it down and then post it like I normally do. Some of you read a lot of my prophecies. They are very, very accurate. Over the years, I have been given prophecies uh, connecting the whole world uh, into the link. As the Lord allowed me to go in the spirit and see these things, I would come out, write them out, post them out. And uh, sometimes I would actually come on the live broadcast to talk about them. But three days ago, which is the ninth of this month, the Lord came to me in the spirit and took me. I did not have a prior uh, notification or warning that he was going to come and take me uh, into the experience. But uh, suddenly, I was taken in and I immediately saw myself in a service. That service was being conducted by a man of God. I don't know his name. But uh, he was a black preacher. And I was insulted in this service. A service was going on. Let me move this chair quickly. The service was going on. And I'm observing what was going on in the service. The Lord covered me so that they would not be able to see me. The preacher was not able to see me, and then neither the congregation was able to see me. So I watched as the service continued. What I'm going to say to us here will help a lot of us because this morning, similar experience, but a different setup. That's why I said, okay, let me just come live and talk about it. Uh, to help some of the people of God everywhere to know how to uh, shift and reposition themselves for what is happening right at this moment. I don't come here that often unless there's a real reason for me to. Then I would come. Now, on the ninth in that service, that was with the black preacher. He was preaching, just preaching. If you look at the setup or the surrounding, you will see that uh, that was a big church in the spirit, a big church, what we call a big building. And inside that church, as my eyes adjusted, I was able to see how people were seated. Uh, there was a little space, spacing between people. And the supposed man of God was preaching and preaching and preaching. But as I listened, there was something wrong with this preaching. It was off. It was not connecting with the spirit. And I became very concerned that he is just saying things. Things that are spiritually irrelevant. Things that don't make any spiritual sense. So the people we are listening and the next thing, the preacher get up and begin to walk around. And people stood up from everywhere and begin to follow him. Every movement that he made, uh, people followed the movement. But the people were not seeing, and neither the preacher was seeing. 
So everything became like an aerobic class. And I was very nervous in that service. None of them could see me. They can see in the spirit and they can hear in the spirit. So things were just, the, the, the supposed man of God was just doing things. When he turned towards the congregation, he was soaked wet because of the preaching. And that service stayed on until it was the end of it. So people did all that aerobic without connecting spiritually. And it disturbed me. How come they are not seeing me? How come the congregation don't know that the man of God is not connecting spiritually? How come they don't understand that this man of God is off? According to spiritual timetable, he's completely off. He's not connecting at all. It ended and the Lord took me out. And he said to me, look, this is what is happening. I'm going to show you the significance of what I'm saying because we are in a time where when everything is being judged, even the little minute things is being judged, is being looked into. And the reason is to bring perfection and excellence. And so a lot of men and women of God today, uh, they have to do something. Let me get to this morning. Today is the 12th of this month, which is the month of November. The first experience that I shared with us, that was November 9th. Today is November the 12th. This morning, the Lord took me again in the spirit and brought me. Suddenly, I was passing through a roadway. As I was going through this roadway, I began to hear the, a voice of a preacher. Preaching. I said, okay, let me come closer and find out who this preacher could be. Now he's a Caucasian guy. And he was just rambling, just going on and on and on and on. And the moment I came right in front of the church building, he concluded his message. And he said something. He said, I can't talk with you unless you are a member of my church. And it bothered me. A lot of things that he was saying were totally off. No spiritual connection. Just empty rambling and they're just saying things. Whatever runs through the head, he just say it. A lot of them don't make no sense at all. And a lot of them have no real spirituality to it. And you could see the frustration exuding through his life. He was frustrated. There's no connection at all with the spirit whatsoever. And out of anger and frustration, he said, Oh, the only way that he could talk with anybody is if you are a member of his church. If not, he can talk to you and then he just walked away. And the service concluded. And the Lord said to me, Look, this is the same thing with what I saw on the night and this morning. A lot of people today have to understand, preachers, please, understand that what you used to do may not be able to work right now. And the reason is because there's a real spiritual shifting that is taking place. The Lord is bringing the church together as one. We are going beyond unity of the brethren to the unification of the body as one body. That's the work of the glory of the living God. Which is to say that repentance is on the menu now. If you want to hear from the Lord, there's going to be a real work. If not, you're not going to be able to hear him. We have been saying this for many, many years. That is going to come to a point where Men of God and women of God and people of God will begin to have difficulty hearing from the Lord. That's because he is moving in a deeper place. And if you cannot go into the deeper place to connect with him and be able to hear him then, you just depend on the scriptures. And you're going to pick up any verse of the Bible and begin to talk from it. And you will be out of sync with what he is doing spiritually. Please. When you look at the scriptures, you see that a lot of the laws were fulfilled. 
over the years. So it was updated. A lot of the prophecies have been fulfilled. And so the ones that are not fulfilled are being fulfilled right before our eyes. Whether they are written in the book of the law, whether they are written in the prophecies, whether they are written in the book of Psalms, the ones that are fulfilled are like, you know, moved out of the way and then the new ones that are not fulfilled are being tackled. And if you are dealing with the book of Revelation, which is where we are now, where the Lord is opening up mysteries, hidden mysteries of the glory of God, what will happen is that unless you are positioned to receive revelation, you may not be able to hear nothing at all. And so every time that you pick up the scripture and just begin to talk, to exegize it and just talk, you will be off, disconnected from the spirit. You can be sweating, you can be doing all every single thing, but spiritually there's nothing to it. And this will expose you to the danger of the judgment of the time or the judgment of the hour because you are not connecting with the spirit. So, what you will have to do is very easy but it's challenging. Is to go back in prayer and begin to uh, make effort to connect with the Lord so that you can hear him and see him. This is how the spirit realm works. Unless you are positioned in there, unless that spirit realm open up, where you can connect and be able to hear him or be able to see him or see what he's doing or see what is happening so that now you can declare it. You will be off sync. God will be doing a different thing and you are doing a different thing. You may be picking from the scriptures. Again, you will need inspiration of the Holy Spirit every time that you deal with the scriptures. But if you want to deal with the revelation of the glory, you need to pierce the spirit realm. It don't work any other way. So these ministers, a lot of people of God are going to try to come back to preach. Because preaching is an art. And anything that runs through the head, you're going to open up your mouth and say it. Shouting, screaming, and sweating, and doing all kinds of stuff there. But if you are not able to be cued in to connect with the Spirit, you will be so off that you will be going left, and the Lord is all the one on the right side. That's a major breakdown, and that's where the frustration is going to come to many people in this hour. They're going to be very, 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 very frustrated because they are just doing things, and the congregation who are not in the uh, position to actually hear from the spirit or see from spiritual perspective, they will just go along. And their lives will also be devastated. It's not that easy to hear from the Lord. Not easy. I was among those who had a major problem trying to hear from the Lord. I mean, oh my God. It was hard. I used to go to a corner and I would sit quiet there trying to hear from the Lord. And the reason is because before, maybe a few days before, I was praying in that corner, in that position, and the Holy Spirit, you know, said something to me. So I thought, okay, I have found the key now. So the next day, I'll go to the same corner and sit there and wait there and try to do the same thing that I did yesterday. All of a sudden, I can make contact with the Holy Spirit as so boy. Before, I had said that, oh, I found the key. Now it's gone. Now I will find a different place again. Sometimes it was easy for me to connect. Some other times, it became hard. And I'm like, what is going on? So to hear from the Lord is not that easy. That's different from preaching. Preaching, you just go crazy. Whatever runs through your mind, whatever runs through your head, it doesn't matter if the Holy Spirit is inspiring you or not. It doesn't matter if you are seeing anything or you are not seeing anything. You will just begin to scream there and go and go wild. <laughs> but if you are being led, <laughs> being led means that you have to wait. Okay, go to the left side. Okay, go to the right side. Okay, stop. Okay, wait. 
But now, do it this way. You are being laid. You are being cued in. So, you are reflecting on what the Spirit is doing. So that you are coordinating. When you are dealing with the revelation of the glory of God, you, the heavens has to be open. That realm has to be open. That dimension has to be open. Or you can be sucked in there. Come up here. Come and see. Come and hear. Revelation chapter 1, you see it in the day of the Lord. That the Lord appeared to John the Revelator. He immediately he was in the spirit. He pierced the ear. It opened up for him and he walked in. And he began to describe what happened. That is the connection of how to walk in the spirit. When you are dealing with the anointing, it's the place where the spirit teaches you through inspiration. That's why if you are speaking from the word, he has to put a little bit light, illumination on the word so that you will understand it better. And then you can now say it exactly how he is inspiring you, your heart, to be able to say it out of the heart. Then you, you will cue it into your mouth and you will utter it. The revelation means that you have to see from the spirit and then you declare it. Okay? The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth. But the revelation realm is different as you see and as you hear, so you declare. The heavens declare the glory of God. I'm saying this to show you that. A lot of people are having big time trouble. Big preachers, small preachers, uh, 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 other people of God. They can hear from the Lord. Because the spirit realm is taking over the physical realm. So if you are carnal or you are in a carnal environment, meaning the man or the woman of God is not fully connected with the spirit, all of you will be left empty. Because if the man or the woman of God can connect in the spirit, he cannot give you the word of the spirit. And if you can't hear from the spirit, you'll be in the congregation without knowing that what is happening there is off from spiritual calendar. And everything will remain dry as ever. That's what the Lord was showing me. The black preacher and the Caucasian preacher, both of them were doing the same thing. They were not hearing from the Lord. They were struggling and they were frustrated and angry and is protruding through what they are doing. No matter how you try to act, if anyone is spiritual in that place, they will know because he that is spiritual judges all things. They're going to look into everything and they're going to determine that, okay, right here is off. Right over here is off. They will pick everything apart. Those who are not connected to the spirit will not know. But the one that is connected with the spirit will know. That's how they will know that the message was dry. That's how they will know that the power of God was not present. Because the presence of God was not present. Absent. <laughs> oh, my God. So the Lord will say, look at this preacher here. Look at that preacher. They said, this is not the time. We are the, you are going to cause the people of God to revert. They are not going backwards. A lot of them have gone far. You can get them to come backwards. They've gone too far. So what is happening to a lot of people is that the frustration is building up because now they can no longer do what they used to do and get away with it because they, God is beginning to judge everything that is going on in the house. Remember that judgment will begin in the house of the Lord. If that place is called the house of the Lord, he's going to show up there. Either to be a part of what is happening or to tear it up. <laughs> it's not a church or business as usual. Things have shifted. This is not a time to build a clique. This is not the time to say, oh, this is my people here, uh, you know, uh, whatever I tell them. And you keep caressing them. You keep lying to them or keep playing them. You can't do it now. The judgment of God is in the houses today. 
Believe me. And even little tiny things are being judged squarely. When I look into that congregation, <laughs> a congregation, the, the people were just following the man of God, the supposed man of God, just doing whatever he's doing. Because they are blinded, they can't see. They can't hear. So the Lord said to me, look, that's off. I was able to pick apart everything that was happening in this experience. Both experiences. The men of God were off. They can't connect with the spirit whatsoever. So all across the world you see these things happening. We are men of God are going to try to do what they used to do before. The way they used to do it before. And it will fall flat. So what they have to do is to go back to the drawing board and try to connect with the spirit. Everything is spiritual now. If you can connect spiritually, your ministry will suddenly come to an abrupt end. I'm telling you here. Because judgment means to execute the order to shut things down or to allow your passage to go forth. They will close you out and the building will close. Physically, you may still try to function, but spiritually, that place is close. Very much so close. This is for those who think that, okay, oh, we are getting ready to open up the buildings. It's a warning. That's why I say it's a prophetic warning. Those who will say, oh, we are getting ready to open up the buildings, and we're going to get the congregation and do what we used to do, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. If you open up that building, the Lord will shut it down unless you connect with the Spirit. Here is my last word for us. There is a difference between leadership and rulership. When it comes to leadership, there's a little bit room uh, for me to sit down and say, uh, A plus A equals to B. Okay? Rulership says, you have to do this and that's the only way to do it. I don't have to sit there and give you examples. You take orders and you follow orders. This is why it's a mature place. In other words, as the Holy Spirit begins to move in the fullness, coming together as one with the Father and the Son, the unifying the spirit realm, the next thing is to establish the supremacy, the rulership of God. Things are going to work exactly how we're supposed to work spiritually. So you take the Bible and you begin to read A plus A. Now, as you see, as you hear, so you're going to declare, if you are not in the position to see and to hear what he is doing, you will be off. Immediately, you are on a different page. And for that reason, you don't have no business practicing. You got to go out of business if you persist. <laughs> okay. So the situation can be addressed. All that you got to do is connect with the Spirit. Go into prayer. And that's the Lord. Repent to people, please. Let's do it that way. Because don't say things that He's not saying. Don't do things that he's not doing to try to impress anybody or try to make it look like something is happening. You are going to get into a lot of trouble in the end times. If you are not positioned to speak, if you are not positioned to declare, to decree and declare, please, shun away from these things. Because there's a real judgment coming into the house. Anything that has not been shaken off before, the next wave of the shaking will tear the roots apart. Because those are stubborn issues that has to go. And this is where we are now. It's beginning to queue in. All the falsehoods are being wiped away. All the gimmicks are being, you know, completely done away with. All these things that have been going on over the years. That the Lord allowed the wheat and the terrors to grow together. Now they are being yanked apart. The garden is being cleaned. The bride is being positioned and prepared. To connect with the Lord fully. To bring forth the revelation of Jesus Christ. You have to coordinate with heaven. For real. No play. So I just wanted to come out here. 
and bring this prophetic warning to us. Because of what the Lord showed me, November 9th and this morning, the same thing. Both experiences were paralleled. And similar things were happening. Okay? So, let us pray. Because we're going to need a lot of prayer in this time, though. You can hear from God if you seek Him. If you go after Him, you can hear. He's going to talk to you. He's going to show you things. Things to come. This is what the Holy Spirit is here to do. He shall receive of mine and shall show it to you. And he will lead you into all truth. And he will show you things to come. There's no length to how much you can know. There's no length to how far you can you know, penetrate. There's no limit to what God is willing to share with you. If you are willing to go after him and keep asking, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, keep knocking, keep knocking. And don't stop. He will come to you. Even if you don't get it on the first day, as you remain praying, he will come. He will show you. Don't make things up. Shut away from it. Let us pray. Father, I pray for your people today. You are God that speaks and you never stop speaking. That's why you are a living God. You are not an idol that has a mouth that can talk, ears that can hear, or no mobility, or movements. But you are God that walk with your people. And the Lord walking with them as a disciples and conforming the world with the signs and livable wonders proves that these disciples were not just making things up. They were not just gimmicking. So I pray for every man Every woman of God across the world, wherever they will come into contact with this broadcast, that they will begin to know, I want their frustrations to go away. Because all of a sudden now, they are beginning to connect with the Spirit to know what you are doing, to see what you are doing, to hear what you are saying. And they are able to articulate these things. So they are on the same page with you. Now they can get results so that they can do things better. Wherever they have been bottled up with denominations, church systems, that these things will be dissolved. Every foundation that is not rooted in Jesus Christ, that these things will be pulled. I ask for it in this earth realm here. So that the order of heaven will be coordinated with the way that things work here as it is in heaven, so also in the earth. And you will establish your rulership here, Father. When we pray, thy kingdom come. We are also praying that your perfect will will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. And I will thank you for it. That you are coming to your people to show them where things are wrong so that they will correct it. Because you are going to answer them. You are going to walk with them. You want to do powerful things with the mighty things that the world has never seen. You are bringing the sons to a position where they are able to walk in the order of heaven and the perfection of things. There's no way that they will not get results. They will see greater results, greater works shall they do. Because you go to the Father. Oh, I thank you for every one of them that will say, I want to hear you, Lord. I want to see what you are doing. And they begin to align themselves. I speak blessings over their lives. Let their lives shift immediately. Let their lives begin to prosper. Let their lives begin to take a new turn. And let them begin to come right into their purposes. Under the alignment of heaven today. And let the joy come to them. Because of the fulfillment that you are bringing into their lives. I thank you, Lord, in this place. Thank you, everyone, those of you who uh, connected and uh, remain until uh, I concluded this, these words. Let the Lord bless your life and help you today. He really want to talk with you. He really want to connect with you. Make it a priority to connect with him as well, and your life will never be the same. I'm Apostle John King Hill. 
And I'll be back again to talk with us more. Every time that the Lord opens up uh, something for me, I love to come and share it with us so I don't waste your time. I hate to waste your time for one minute. Uh, so there's no need for it. Uh, you know, I don't, it's not a game here for me. It, it's whatever I see, whatever I hear, I'll come and declare it to you.